Hey everybody, here we are at the Tennessee Jam. Tom and I are out looking for the hottest cars that are here. So, and we're, we're checking them out. See, there's, there's a lot of cool stuff here, you can see. I mean, well, what's, uh, what kind of things are you looking for, Tom? What, what? Well, I mean, there's a little bit of everything out here. We've got some imports, we've got some muscle, we got tuners, all that. Everything. But, you know, and some classics. Some classics for sure. And I've seen a lot of attention over here in this white Mustang. Yeah, let's get over there and see if we can find out what's going on. Look at that. He's got quite a crowd coming in. Oh, yeah. Look at this. I'm all, I'll, they know him or they know who <laughs> right. he is. But guys, Leah, check this thing out. It is so cool. And the owner is... He's, a, he's kind of a, a tinkerer and a builder himself, and he makes a lot of his own parts. So let's go meet him. Okay, guys, the first car that we spotted that we thought was just over the top with, well, style and function and everything else is the 65 Mustang GT350. And well, we want to meet the owner and find out the skinny on this thing. And John Harrison is right back here. You're the owner of this gorgeous car. Yes, sir. So tell me, what is it, first of all? Well, it's a 65 uh, Ford Mustang, uh, Fastback. I've had uh, for about 36 years and done a little bit of work on it from uh, then till now and just uh, replaced about everything from ground up. So so you've been probably driving it since high school? Is that time? Uh, really just out of high school. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. So basically you said it's a 65. Yes. And so let's start in the front. And what? Okay. tell us what that is under the hood. Well, uh, what I have right now is a 302 um, with uh, roller rockers and gear drive. And uh, you know, it's a little bit more than stock. And I've done a little bit of work as far as I put some bracing in to uh, get it to handle a little bit better on the street. And you built that bracing, right? It's not something somebody can that's, go get. That's correct. That's a custom-made part. I'm still working on a little bit of the bracing on it. That's gorgeous. Um, so well, you did it. It's really nice. It's a little bit of a work in progress. And you actually are very adept at making your own parts. Right. Pretty much everything that you see is uh, made out of aluminum that looks custom. Then it was probably custom-made. Like these shock towers? The shock towers are, are custom-made. Um, actually, a little fun fact there is that the, uh, the actual cylinder, I think, was uh, found in a scrapyard that was a Tennessee Tech uh, goalpost that had been <laughs> torn down after a game, so I thought I would reuse it. Repurposed, yeah, exactly. That's, you know, that's what you call modern recycling. <laughs> right, I'm trying to help out the environment. <laughs> yeah, and then you added this massive radiator here. That's right. Um, I've got plans of putting a 347 or a 331 stroker in it. Uh -huh. So I wanted to go with a uh, dual fans and a larger radiator. Um, just trying to think forward about what I might be doing that might need a little more cooling. That's awesome. And now what kind of carburation or aspiration have you got there? Uh, that's actually a Holly double pumper. It's super clean. So what do you think the horsepower is on this? What are your output? Uh, you know, it's not much, you know. If I'm around 300, that would be uh, probably uh, pretty lucky. Well, but again, a, it's a drivable a, car. Yeah, for a light pony car, 300 right. is pretty right. good. This car is very light. I've got um, fiberglass trunk, uh, aluminum gas tank, fiberglass hood. Uh, I've taken a lot of the weight out of it, so it is very, very light. And what about that front suspension? You said you did some control um, it's a, That is a Global West uh, tubular control arms with uh, 73 factory disc brakes on it. And the wheels? Uh, the wheels are Torque Thrust 2, made by American Racing, and also had the, uh, drew up the center caps in a 3D modeling program and sent it to a, a company and had those custom made. That's nice. So you don't have an actual brand name on them, but it's it's, it's a custom, so totally custom. Right, it's custom told, touch. That's right, that's right. And you have the cowl induction hood. You have the cowl induction hood. And that fits nicely with the stripes. And now inside, you did a lot of work there as well. What, what have we got there? Go ahead right, and open well, that up. What I did was, um, I was kind of tired of looking at the cust at the, uh, the original console, so I decided to make, uh, custom make one. And, and that's uh, all. It's all set up with a, a new shifter. It's got and a Hurst shifter in it, and also had uh, drew that uh, shift cover up and had it 3D printed <laughs> uh, by a friend of mine. Actually, and also had the cubby uh, was 3D printed from uh, by a friend of mine. So I designed all that up in a CAD system. Wow. And had my friend uh, 3D print it for me. And these are Corbeau seats? They are. They're five point? 
Uh, those are actually not not five point because that had three seven. point. Okay. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Those are those are sharp. And even in the back, everybody, just in case you want to go for a crazy ride with this guy, you will be safe in his car. <laughs> Love it. And then you said the, the uh, door panels. What did you no, do? There? So the window regulators are uh, electric or power. And that's done by the center that's console. That's done by the center console with the two buttons. Right. And these were actually out of uh, out of a Toyota that I actually was able to retrofit and make work in here. So they actually uh, function up and down power uh, really well. I love it. That's cut. That's what you, you you're innovative in, in the way that you incorporate parts from. Yeah, I, other I try vehicles. to use what's available uh, to me, you know, to make it to make it custom and make it my own. Right. Well, that's that's an innovation, and not to say that you're cheap, but you know, it saves. It's okay. Money. You can say I'm cheap. I mean, sometimes I can't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it All also right. makes you, uh, you know, want to do custom. Work right. as well, you know. So, and then you have this beautiful sound system in here that's like Sony subwoofers, and and I saw you have some. I have a couple of uh, Sony amps and a couple of uh, other items, uh, Infinity speakers up front. And this is a gorgeous car, and you said that you have a fiberglass spoiler on the hood, or on the on the deck lid. That's correct. Is that all fiberglass? The whole um, the deck lid is fiberglass, and the end caps are fiberglass. So right in here, yeah. yes, yes. Wow. It's a gorgeous car. Thank you very much. Man. Can't wait to see it with that uh, the bigger motor in it. Right. Well, it'll be uh, it'll be much faster, that's for sure. And uh, I can't wait. Wow. How long till you get that done? Um, probably about four months. Four months. Yeah. So Tom, <clears throat> come on over. So, as a mechanic, what what do you see that he's done that you think is like? Wow, over the top. Really? I mean, I like the interior. I like that center console a lot. I've seen a lot of these cars and worked on a lot of them. I've never seen anything. They did offer a center console on some of these cars, right. but they didn't look that good. Well, they I like your little touches of aluminum. I do like the craftsmanship you put into the car. That brace is really nice. I mean, I just like the overall idea and functionality of the car. It's got a good stance. You like to drive it. I love to I drive mean, it. I love to drive it. It's built to drive. Right, right. I mean, oh, it looks good too. <laughs> yeah, you, you get some looks going down the road, I'm sure. It's probably so. the most popular car I saw on this part of the strip so far. Yeah. I've seen more people over here than. Yeah, everybody's really coming around to check it out. So, perfect. Well, thank you so well, much you for your uh, time and showing us your car. And, okay. guys, we're going to head out there and see what else is in the vicinity. <laughs>